In this video tutorial, we will cover inputting listing in Matrix. So to start off, I'm going to go ahead and go up to input, click on listing input, and in this screen I'll be able to add a new listing or edit an existing listing. Let's start with adding a new listing. Now at this point I would need to select which form I'm wanting to use, so I'm going to do single family in this case. And then I have a few options with how I can actually start this off. I can auto-populate information from tax records, I can copy from an existing listing, or start with a blank listing. In this case, let's auto-populate from tax records. Now on county, it already has Harris selected for me, which works in this case, but you can change it if you need to. And I'm just going to put in a street number, street name, and hit the blue search button. Now at this point, it wants me to make sure that this is the correct property, and it is, so I can click the Fill button. If it was not, I could click Revise Search. So at this point, the system will actually walk you through the process of completing this listing. Okay? There are a few new things. Anything in yellow is a required field, but also at any time, you can click Validate, and the system will actually pop up red exclamation points wherever there is missing required information. One new thing that we do need to do is that we do have a map tab where we would need to map the property ourselves. So I have two ways I can do this. I can get the latitude and longitude from the address or I can set it manually. So if I just click get latitude and longitude from address, it will find it and map it. Now, if this is incorrect for whatever reason, I could at that point click Get Latitude and Longitude manually. Something else that's changed a bit is in the room section. Now, in various parts of this form, you'll notice that it does pull more information, auto-populate more information now than it did before. For example, when I go to rooms, it already pulled the number of bedrooms and bathrooms. But another new thing here in the rooms section is I can add in each of my rooms individually. So starting with master bedroom, I can put in my dimensions, room location, and then if there's any room features, I can select one or multiple there. Then when I want to add another bedroom or any other room for that matter, I can click more and add in another room. Put in the information for that. So every time I want to add a new room, I would just click more. So at this point, I'm going to click save as incomplete in the bottom left hand corner. And it will bring me to this screen here. It says my listing has been successfully saved as incomplete and it gives me my MLS number. Now at this point, I can click Add Edit Photos and go ahead and add my photos of the property. You can have up to 50 photos now. That did increase, so I'm just going to add in a photo here as an example. Now one other new thing that will happen is the system knows that I haven't met the minimum amount of photos required so it is outlined in red and that will continue to stay that way until I've put the minimum of photos required. If I want to add a caption I can click on the photo and click enter description and put in my description of that photo there. Click save and I'm going to hit save one more time. So the next thing would be add edit attachments. Attachments in Tempo are called docs. So if I click on Add Edit Attachments, this is where I could add in a seller's disclosure, a survey, MUD, list of upgrades. So let's say in this case I'm wanting to add a seller's disclosure. I'm going to click Choose File, find my seller's disclosure there, and then I can hit Upload. Then if I want to add another form, I can go ahead and 
call it mud in this case, hit choose file, and add in another form. Something else I can do from the screen is I can click on the MLS number to get a preview of what this listing is going to look like at this point. So if I wanted to be able to see my photos, see my attachments, kind of scroll through and see everything there, I can do that. So I've already saved this listing as incomplete. At any time when I come back into Matrix, I'll be able to find it in the My Listings widget under My Incomplete Listings, or I'll be able to do what I did earlier, which was go up to Input again, click Listing Input, find my listing here from my list that I have, click on Single Family Add Edit to continue filling out the form, delete the incomplete listing, manage photos, and manage attachments. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. If you have any questions, please contact us using the contact information provided.